it's a new day. Today I'm going to be working on the next category in the KonMari list, which is electronics. Now I'm not going to unplug my printer and my computer and all those like things that I use every single day because clearly they're in use. I'm not going to go through the hassle of moving them. I'm going to get out the things that have been sitting around for a while, like DVDs, CDs, VHS tapes, cords, plugs. Um, I'm going to get all those things together and then I will go through that stuff. I tend to hang on to a lot of DVDs for some reason, although I, li I literally never watch movies. So I don't ever use them, but I have them. And plus we have like all these streaming services now, so we really don't ever pull out the DVDs unless there's something that you can't find anywhere that the kids want to watch or something that's really unique or it's like a special edition or something and they're all in different parts of the house too there's like some movies in the playroom there's some movies in the other room there's so everything's kind of scattered so i'm going to work on bringing it all together and then go through everything why don't you declutter along with me See if we can get some more crap out of this house. All right, let's get started. I finished going through and getting all of the movies that we have out and we have a lot more than I realized. Uh, I haven't bought DVDs in a really long time but I guess I just never get rid of them either. So take a look, this is what I, I got together. These are all the, the kids movies. My mom kept all of my stuff when I was little so I have these Disney sing-alongs, DuckTales, Bugs Bunny, and all of these Disney VHS tapes were mine when I was a kid. That was quite a while ago. I don't know how good the quality is anymore because they don't last forever. Now some of these are my husband's so I will let him decide if he wants to keep them or not. I will ask just to make sure. Now I have decluttered CDs in the past so I had tried to narrow it down to just our favorites that were left because we do still listen to them in the car. And I have some more in the car, but those ones are like my favorites and I always listen to them. So those obviously I will keep. These ones I'm going to reassess and see if I really need to keep them or not. Okay, so now I have my donatable donate box, which is an old Amazon box. And I'm going to get started working through the pile of movies and CDs and my goal is to not keep them unless I absolutely need to. And if I have to, I'll check and see if they're on a streaming service. And if I can find them on a streaming service, then I don't really need to keep them. Although some of them are slightly sentimental, which sounds silly to say that DVDs are sentimental. Yeah, all right, well, we'll see how I do. This is the music of our first dance from our wedding. Do I keep it? I don't really need it on a CD anymore. I don't really 
need to don't I can't really donate it because it's just one song burnt onto a CD. I mean, this is a song you can get anywhere, so I don't really need to. There's no need for me to really keep this, and I didn't even know that I had it. I had no idea that I had this, so I can let this go. I think this No Doubt CD was my first CD that I ever got. This says 1995 on it. Yeah, that sounds about right. Alright, so I'm gonna keep these. I found some random CDs. I don't need these anymore. This is a duplicate. So those can go. So I just found this CD case. I think this used to be in my husband's car, like when we were in high school. It has like mixes of burnt CDs, dance mix. I wonder what's on that. Oh my gosh, these are really bad. Do you see that? Can you see it? The scratches on it? Wow. These are like gross. <laughs> Why are they so dirty? That's my keep pile over there. These are my, I don't know if you can see. These are the ones that I'm donating. And those are the ones that are just going to go bye bye. Now some of these, like these sets, my husband and I were really into watching True Blood for a long time. I guess it was quite a while ago. Um, I'm gonna see if these have any value, if maybe I can sell them. I don't think we're gonna go back through and watch them ever again. So I'm gonna see if maybe I can get a little bit of money for them, but if they're not really worth anything, then I'll donate them. But I'm gonna set these to the side. I'm only gonna check those because they're bigger box sets. The other ones probably don't really have much of a value. But see, like, if I said, oh, I want to watch this movie, I would never think, oh, I have this on a VHS tape. I'm going to go look for it and find it. No. I completely forgot that we had this. I don't think I've ever watched it. These are my husband's, so I'll have to ask him about those. Oh, these are old. These are, um, me and my mom used to tape shows that were on TV so we could rewatch them. This one is a Charlie Brown Halloween special. Sometimes these are fun to watch back because it has all of the like really old commercials in it and I like my kids to watch the old commercials because they're funny. But things like this usually like the quality gets really bad. So I'm gonna have to test it out and see hopefully like my VCR doesn't eat it sometimes it happens. I'm gonna have to make a testing pile. Oh, Fraggle Rock, Fraggle Rock. Did you watch Fraggle Rock as a kid? When they sit down and they watch like these old shows and these older cartoons, they really enjoy them. This is our Christmas movie pile. We always get these out. These are like our staples that we always watch at Christmas time. Another one, um, and we do use these, and we kind of like rotate through them. This is my husband's. This is his. This Goonies box set is also his. That I believe he got as a gift. I don't think he's ever opened it, so I'll have to show this to him, and he can. 
side. But I mean, this is like, this would be something else that I would try to see if it has any value that I could resell. Um, Cause it says it is the 25th anniversary edition. with Johnny Depp. He's always been my favorite actor. So for a long time I was collecting all of his movies. Every single movie that he's ever done. But I don't think I have ever once said, hey, let me go get out this Johnny Depp movie to watch. If I was gonna look for one, I would probably look on the TV. Like this one, I think I've only watched, I think I watched it once, like when I first bought it. Cause I never had even heard of it. But I was just trying to like, I was just trying to collect them all. You should see the city lights tonight. I don't think they've ever burned Right. Did you know when how oh, everything will turn out? We learn to run, we learn to fight. Sooner or later. My kids are too old for Peppa Pig now. Like a brand new. this one leave a comment down below or a little fairy emoji if you remember fern gully when did this come out 1992 love it that's a good one that's keeper I'm gonna keep this one because it has the digital code so then we can watch it on I can put it on the iPad for the kids or whatever tell me if you remember David the gnome I loved David the gnome when I was little and I like randomly found this on eBay so that I could make sure that my kids watched it. Here's a little interesting fact. When I was a little kid, I didn't watch a ton of cartoons. My favorite thing to watch was I Love Lucy and the Weather Channel. I loved I Love Lucy and all those like Nick at Night shows like Bewitched and I Dream of Jeannie. Those are great. But I think all the I Love Lucys are, you can watch them all now. They have them, like all of them are online or streaming, whatever. childhood videos I don't know oh my gosh from Bradley's okay this is this is tough for me I'm an only child so my mom kept all my things and she kept all of the original VHS Disney movies that I had so that I could use them for my children someday, which we have. And we have watched them all, and I'm glad that they 
were able to watch all of these classic movies before Disney Plus was even a thing. When they were little, 10 years ago, they were able to watch them. But they're kind of irrelevant now. But something about these cases is just so, it's so reminiscent of my childhood. I know you can get these at the Salvation Army for like a quarter now. I don't know, something that just seems special. Here's the sound of music. Like, we just watched this the other night for our family movie night. I didn't even think about it being on a tape that we could have watched. We watched it on streaming. I have a whole... See, I have room for them. Like, they have their own little cabinet where they live, which is completely fine. So, technically, if I have the room for them, I can keep them. But they don't really serve a purpose anymore. See this struggle that I'm having? I just need to, like, I feel better if I talk it out with you. They have memories. They're from... My childhood. Why is this so hard? No, I'm making this more complicated. They're just VHS tapes. They're just VHS tapes that aren't going to work. They're fuzzy. We don't watch them because they're fuzzy and blurry. I'm gonna check all of these before I donate them. Oh, the land before time. And then, if they really have no value, if nobody's looking for them, then I will donate them. I loved Aladdin so much when I was a kid. When it first came out, it was like, it was like the Frozen of that time. My daughter even did a tap solo to an Aladdin song. These are gonna be blurry and fuzzy. I'm gonna look for it on the TV so that it's crisp and clear. Okay, so this is kind of my keep pile. This is, also has things that I need to test to see if they work. And it also has my husband's stuff that he's gonna have to look through. And then this is my donate pile. This was actually harder than I thought it was gonna be. And I didn't realize the volume of movies and CDs that we actually had because they were scattered in all different parts of the house. Well, and some my husband had out in his man cave in the barn because he watches movies out there sometimes. And he had the old computer games were out there too, which we have not used probably since college. But the, have you ever seen The Wizard? Mm-hmm. You have seen it? I've seen you watch it. Ah, uh, so not yet. Rigoletto. Rush hour. Did you know Bruce Willis is dead the whole time? Spoiler alert for you. Spartacus. Surf ninjas. It was a really nice opportunity to get all of this stuff together, really assess what we had, and to clear out the stuff that's been sitting around for years. For years, just collecting dust, not serving a purpose for us, and also nobody else could enjoy it or use it either. So if they're in good condition and we can pass them on and somebody else can enjoy them, then that's what we're gonna do. School of Rock. Oh, that's good too. In living color. Oh yeah. I think they've seen School of Rock. It's on, I feel like it's on something. Right. Are you talking about? Have you seen School of Rock? I don't know what that is. Okay, so now, keep the Indiana Jones. Anchorman. Isn't it the guy? Best of Lucy? Where he's, he's, uh, Lucy? Uh, let me look at it. Yes. And they teach him rock and roll. 
Your cute pile's getting kind of big. New girl. Firefly. It's right here. Yeah, I'll just make another pile next one. Uh, I'm not sure if this is on anything, but I've seen it 75 times, so I probably don't need to watch it again. Office Space. Special edition with flair. And then I will keep this one. So before this cabinet over here used to just have VHS tapes in it, but now I was able to fit all of our DVDs. These are all the ones that we're keeping. And then down here I have like the bigger box sets. Most of these are ones that my husband wanted to keep. Christmas ones are over there. These are all the kids and adult movies, and these used to fill up four other cabinets. This TV stand is in the playroom. In here, under the VCR DVD player, this whole bottom part here was full of DVDs, and now that's totally empty. Now, in our family room, we have two matching media cabinets, I guess you call them, and this little side one used to have CDs on the top and the bottom row, and then these are just our favorite ones that we're gonna keep. This other cabinet also used to be full of DVDs. I'm gonna put some of the VHS tapes back that we did decide to keep. Everything will fit very comfortably. That was part of the problem too, was that, I mean, we had plenty of room to store everything. So the container wasn't really the issue. It was just that they weren't being used. How did you do? Were you able to get rid of any movies? And then there was a lot more than I didn't even realize. But once we got them all together in one place, it made a big difference. The other question I like to ask myself is, if we were going to be moving to a new house, would this item be worth my time to package up and move with us? Phoenix, stop! Ugh. Phoenix is trying to knock over the camera on me. What, because I'm not paying attention to you?